Hello everyone and welcome to this review of BMW X4 LCI or lifecycle update facelifted version of the 2022 model year. In this particular version the M Sport package with a grey color on the outside. With M Sport we also get a higher better braking system that is 13 inches and 10 inches in the rear here on a, a performance tires with new look to the rims. The profile hasn't changed that much but what has changed is the front fascia. Now we have a honeycomb mesh design in front with the active grille being an integral part to this vehicle we've got a redesigned front spoiler uh, the whole front bumper has been tweaked to make it more aerodynamic to make it feel like it's a wider vehicle than it really is and also the highlight being new LED headlights which have now also a short animation as we walk closer to the vehicle going back this is a 4.7 meter long vehicle so it really is uh, a larger SUV that is now popular in the rear a redesigned taillights that have been smoked out redesigned bumper which also as the front it connects uh, the vehicle together making it appear wider as you can see the elements translate nicely with the high gloss black package being part of the M Sport package as equipped the vehicle here costs 73,000 euros but there is an, a special offer bringing it down to 60 grand. Stepping in inside to the vehicle we are greeted with two 12.3 inch displays that are very nice to look at with sharp graphics and have been also slightly tweaked to make uh, user feel more connected. Center stack has also been redesigned moving the starter button to the center console like Audi has from the position right beside the wheel. It's quite convenient really nice to use to start up intuitive as well as the rest of the interior. I do appreciate BMW still keeping up the buttons and the overall layout of the whole cockpit in a recognizable manner that is intuitive and good to use while driving thanks to the iDrive 7.0 in this version. We also have a few details that make it stand out like TX4 badge and now going on to the main display in front of a driver. The steering wheel itself has also been slightly tweaked uh, with a plush lever throughout the cabin but especially with the steering wheels and on the seats. Display is great, I love the iDrop system, it is one of the best to use the systems to keep you safe and other road users is integrated with the uh, one button and the climate control is accessible while these buttons also while driving that is a good benefit over the competition which I do appreciate. Some say it is going to look the same for or has been looking the same way for 20 years or so but I do find it convenient and easy to use while it's driving and that is the most important thing. The modes are switchable and there is also the automatic holding system in place. Seats are nicely upholstered with this black leather M Sport details and this contrasting stitching throughout the cabin going to the real seats as well which are quite good spacious uh, but you have can be taller than 192 like I am because then you are bumping into the roof but the the stitching and the details with ambient lighting is on point also the galvanized details like this window switches are great to feel really that you appreciate the details that the that these premium manufacturers make sure you feel uh, welcome in their cabin the display is not that customizable as I would like to see it 
you can see that you can change your phone or media settings on the display and you can also use the gestures as you could before the face lift turning up or down the volume when we move to the rear we can see a large trunk which also has an under floor storage for some details some grocery shopping bags and so on automatic tailgate is standard you have to pay for keyless entry and to use the gesture underneath the display x drive means all-wheel drive system which we became to know from bmw very good very easy the rear seat passenger room is fine especially considering the height of the vehicle it is has the sloping roof line that is quite stylistic but is not as practical as its brother the x thank you for watching if you do have any comments questions regarding this vehicle or any other vehicle that i've been driving just leave them down below i will answer them see you goodbye